Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to talk about the five most common sources of inner knee pain. Now I thought what we would do is we would get oriented first and then get into some of the technicalities and some of the diagnoses that we see most often in the office. All right, so first things first, the top he here is the inner edge of the kneecap. If you look at this dotted line here, you're going to notice this is the femur, okay? So this is the femur bone right here. It rounds like this, okay? The tibia bone is here, this big bone here, and this is the plateau of that tibia. So we have this femur on the tibia, okay? So let's first start with this red mark right here. This is your medial collateral ligament, okay? If you take a blow to the knee and the knee gets pushed inward, you can strain this ligament or sprain that ligament and cause a tear in it, cause some inflammation and irritation. Typically, people who sprain this ligament will have swelling right around this area. Okay. Now, another area that you can have pain on the inside is a meniscus tear. So if you take a look at this orange area right here between the femur and the tibia is this piece of cartilage that's kind of pie shaped on the edges um, and it kind of sits inside the knee it helps to cradle the ball over the top of this flat plateau over here and that is the meniscus it's a piece of fibrous cartilage and that can sometimes tear especially if you are pivoting and twisting when your foot is planted and if that happens, you can get some pain right on the inside of here. So what you do is you kind of feel the top of this tibia and right in this area here is where that meniscus is. What you'll find with people who have meniscus tears is that you'll have some swelling over this spot, but typically swelling throughout the knee. Whereas a MCL will swell right in this area, not necessarily through the whole knee. Now, the next area that I want you to look at is this spot right here. This is what we call the pes anterine bursa. This is a fluid-filled sac that sits in this region where you have three tendons that come and attach over here. So basically, a little protection between the tendons and the bone. The bursa is a fluid-filled sac that helps to keep that lubricated in that area. It helps to protect between the tendon and the bone. And sometimes that can get irritated by either having some trauma to the area or maybe some overuse activities where the hamstrings are working a little extra hard. And this is tender here. Okay, not in the joint line over here. So this is a separate area altogether. Now, as we get a little older, if we don't have some sort of mechanism of injury, we could develop pain in this area here. And we call this the joint line right here. So your meniscus resides here, your MCL resides here, but when your knee starts to break down and you start to develop some osteoarthritis, the first place for most people to develop discomfort is in this area on the inside of the knee, and that's called the joint line. You'll typically notice some swelling in that area, swelling throughout the knee. Maybe the knee is gonna start bowing out a little bit, and uh, but this is the most common area to develop osteoarthritis in the knee. The last spot I want to talk about is this little tissue right here, and it's called the plica. And it's a fold in this tissue that helps to support the inside of the kneecap. The kneecap is here, and there's tissue that kind of holds it in place over here. And what can happen is you can develop this little fold, especially when you're really young, that just never goes away. It never gets kind of reabsorbed. And sometimes this can get really inflamed and irritated. And when you find it, and it's easier to do with the knee down, but I want you to be able to clearly see this in this position, what you do is you take your finger and you strum back and forth, and it'll feel like a little piece of al dente spaghetti in that area. It should feel the same on the other side, but if you've had some irritation and, and you're having pain in this part of your knee and you feel it and it's a lot thicker and it's exquisitely point tender when you strum that area, then it's possible you might have what we call a medial retinacular plica right in this area. So those are the five most common sources of knee pain on the inner part of the knee. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope this makes sense and can help you kind of get a better handle on what your inner knee pain is like and, and what is causing it. I um, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.